hi guys welcome to simplifying tech and programming so in today's session we are going to check how we can install web development tools into eclipse ide so there is a general problem where like uh, java developers want to work with a web application or dynamic web project uh, or like uh, they want to create the html and uh, jsp pages but that support is not available into our eclipse ide so mainly like in our eclipse ide only core java application can be de uh, can be developed by using the default package okay so for that we need to choose the particular id where like there is a support for java e application of for the for the development or we can install that new software where like it is there is a support to the web development tools so like uh, you can go to google and uh, type eclipse downloads okay so go here eclipse id for java developers go to eclipse installer okay so here like a uh, details feature list so this is a by default like eclipse id for java developers this is the windows package where like uh, they have listed the details feature list where you cannot find the development for java e applications or web tools web development tools you cannot find it okay suppose uh, like uh, we can download this like uh, this 64-bit uh, uh, windows installer that is supporting on my machine so you can click on this and you can download this in our case we have already downloaded so this is the eclipse in installer uh, with the exe format of 64-bit so double click on this okay so here you can see there are two options available eclipse id for java developer this is like a essential tools for any java developer including java id git client and uh, xml editor maven and gradle projects okay so this is one option this is a by default option where like uh, we have support for these features so there is another option called as eclipse id for enterprise java and web developers so if you select this feature uh, then uh, that support is available for developing Java enterprise applications or Java web applications. So here it is written that tools for develop developers working with the Java and web application include Java IDE, Java support TypeScript, JSP, YML and uh, Servlet pages. Okay. So suppose like uh, by default like uh, users or developers try to install uh, this, uh, this option so for now like uh, we also selecting these options and later we will add uh, that web development feature okay so like uh, select our uh, jdk directory and select the installation folder okay and say install okay so our basic eclipse is installed so let's say launch select the workspace and say launch okay so this is the like uh, eclipse for uh, java developers so here if you see the options for development of java applications go to file and new and uh, here so you cannot you can't so here you will not found uh, java development for uh, java e application that, that is an enterprise application or you can type uh, servlet so this is not there so you are not able to find the servlet or uh, dynamic web project so it is not there okay so this is this is the like a problem with the basic uh, eclipse installation where there is a no support for developing java enterprise application so for this there is a solution so we need to install one software so go to help and go to install new software okay so select this okay so when you go to the install new software then in available software so you need to select uh, you need to go to this drop down and select the first option that is a 2012 like uh, 2022 12 that is a download eclipse select this it will show some options okay so here at the last there is a option called as a web xml java e and osgi enterprise development okay so expand this and here you will find uh, like uh, eclipse java e developer tools okay eclipse java uh, web developer tools 
so these are uh, all uh, related to like uh, eclipse web development project so you can select this total package that is here like uh, you will find the java server pages tools then j2me tools jst tools all this kind of tools so select this and say next so this is the basic uh, software you need to install in order to can add the support for development of enterprise applications okay so this is asking for review the items to be installed so yeah so we can see all the supported uh, features are there listed this there so let's say next i accept that agreement let's say finish so it is installing new software so here it is uh, trying to download the eclipse tools in order to install the enterprise application support so it might take time as per your internet connection speed okay so here it will ask for trust so do you trust unsigned content of unknown origin so you can select always trust all the content and say trust selected okay so it is saying restart eclipse to apply the software update so let's say restart now okay so our eclipse is restarted so close this now we can verify if there is a support added for developing the java enterprise application so go to others so you can see there are uh, multiple options are available now so if you go here then you can see this java e option then inside that you can uh, see the all enterprise uh, features are listed so go here and type uh, servlet so you can see there is a servlet option is also available inside the web folder okay so you have jsp options jsp option available like uh, now all the options are available so now like uh, in order to create the enterprise application project or web project you need to select the dynamic web project so type dynamic so here dynamic web project inside the web folder is there so let's let's say next and give next finish okay so so this is the web application created so you can observe this uh, globe icon on the web uh, on the hello servlet project so here like uh, it is created with source main web app web inf this kind of web structure is created okay so this way we can create uh, the different different uh, web applications or web projects by using this uh, java e support of eclipse okay so that uh, we can install via this uh, new software install new software option okay yeah so that's all for today so stay tuned for uh, further interesting sessions and thanks a lot for watching